If you love somebody who has PTSD, you're usually uh, in a dilemma. Do I ask questions? Do I try to bring this out? Do I show my interest and my love? Uh, and, and if I back off because I'm afraid that I might trigger something or I might annoy the person I love, am I appearing to be indifferent? It's not easy. It's terribly hard to walk that fine line. Uh, but one thing about post-traumatic stress disorder is the person with it goes in and out of episodes. So you can tell when the person you care about is there and is interacting with you and has more than the usual amount of, of joy and peace. And that could be the time to ask, how do you like me to be? Do you find that I'm a little too intrusive or do I sometimes seem to be too distant? That, that's, that's a good time to have that conversation and to get advice. I, I think physical pain and emotional trauma are similar in an interpersonal way. Uh, we who are on the outside not experiencing that pain or that anguish are nevertheless there, we're in the room, we're in a relationship, and it hurts us. And, and sometimes the person in pain or in emotional distress wants to protect us. And I've occasionally found myself saying, thank you for caring about me. When I'm in the role of psychiatrist, therapist, medical doctor, I've sometimes reassured my patient that I can take this, that I have my own ways of tolerating their pain because they frequently look out for me. And that means they're not telling me the whole story and they're not un uh, unburdening themselves of the whole story. We have to get there together. We have to fix it. And we have to work on the source of the pain. But I, I think it's good to realize that physical pain from a broken bone, a gunshot, a, a pinched nerve, really hurts. And the lessons that I get, particularly from my long-term PTSD patients, is it hurts.